It is now almost two months since the people of this country began to put up with restrictions on their freedom. On Sunday night, a nation of sports enthusiasts were perched in front of their TVs, hoping for a return of anything sport-related. You can sit in the sun in your local park. You can and then the moment came. You can even play sports only with members of your own household. The government's decision isn't without certain caveats attached. So what does this relaxing of the rules mean for recreational sport? We do want people to play more sport, and let me give you one example of something you can do. Two people from the same home could go and play tennis. You couldn't then go into the clubhouse and mill around where you would be within uh, two metres of other people. However, for those of us hoping for a kickabout at the park... Football would be one of those where I think it would be very difficult to uh, stay two metres apart uh, if you're playing you know, 11 aside or even 5 aside. So based on the vague details surrounding the return of sport, here are the guidelines that come into force on Wednesday. You can take part in sport, and if anything, the Prime Minister is openly encouraging it. However, it must be with people from your household, and it must adhere to social distancing, including the two-metre rule. One of the sports affected by this ruling will be golf. Earlier, I spoke to Ashley Harris, one of the top 60 disabled golfers in the world, about this decision. My initial reaction to being able to go outside and play golf was positive. However, looking at the rules and regulations that they put in place, I feel it's maybe a little bit too early to actually open golf courses. I think this is going to be a very difficult period in terms of actually getting this right. So, to clarify, people are allowed to take part in sport and are now permitted to exercise outside as much as they wish. But despite these newly relaxed lockdown guidelines, we still find ourselves some way off from a full return to sporting normality. Doug Webber, Solent Sports News, at home in Andover.